Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you, come along and see it's true But the world is pretty cold, you might What's up everyone, in this video I'm going to show you basically how you can mod your games um, on the PlayStation 4. Uh, for this you are going to need a few things. First off, you're going to need a USB, you are going to need a computer, you're going to need the program called Save Wizard, and uh, you're going to uh, need the game that you're actually going to mod on your PlayStation 4. Um, there's some games that you actually have to have in order to um, actually mod them for this video I'm just going to use uh, Dead Rising 2. So basically you want to have already played the game a bit. You want to go to Application Save Data Management um, because you need a save. Save Data and System Storage. You're going to basically copy this to your uh, USB. And uh, basically when it's copied to your USB you just want to take it over to your computer. And that's where you use Save Wizard. There will be in a link in the description below of where you can get Save Wizard. So the first thing that you want to do when you're on your PC is open up Save Wizard. Once that is done, you'll get a bunch of uh, games, like a list of games. And you just want to insert your USB. And once you insert your USB, the uh, Dead Rising game will actually show up. First, you have to make sure you have an account uh, already set up. Then you want to double click or you could press the uh, drop down arrow. And then it'll give you uh, save game data. And you want to go right click and go to quick mode. Now what this will do is allow you to quickly modify your games. If you went into advanced mode you would have to use hex codes. Which is a bit more difficult. But this is just the easiest way to uh, actually mod your game without having to uh, do anything extra. So once this is done, you want to uh, actually apply these, and then you want to override your save. And once that's done, you can then eject your USB and then go back to your PlayStation 4, insert USB back into the PS4, and I'll get to the next steps. So back in your PS4 you want to go to the settings, application save data management. Then you want to go to save data on USB storage device. Then you want to copy your uh, data from your uh, USB to your PlayStation 4. And what you'll do basically after this is override your save on your PlayStation 4. And once that's done you can load up your game. And uh, here's just gameplay of what actually happened afterwards. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Only the names have been changed. Only the names have been changed. Only the names have been changed.